here at this antique store in Auburn, Indiana. They've got some interesting stuff. You can see a lot of antiques here. Looks like Van Briggle, 165. It's got a some nice little Native American head. Toothpick holders. Kind of collect those. I like to put them in my window. This guy's riding a dolphin. Those are usually pretty popular. Anytime you see anything with a dolphin, that's a cherub on a dolphin. I wonder who made this. It's got an N on it. Could be Capo de Monte. Or like Napco. It's like, see if that's Bisque. Looks a little dull. And could be Bisque porcelain. These teacups could be good too. This one reminds me of like Ainsley. Hmm. Hmm, beautiful blue color there. Some nice vintage. Look at this. Reminds me of a uh, top of a mirror. Super nice Jewelry box with a rose on the lid. That looks like it was made for a mirror. Maybe the same company made several different products. There's a nice fish platter and some cute puppies and a kitten. Look at that string holder. We had some of those in our estate sale. Those are fun. Oh, there's a tractor seat stool. That's interesting. Some glass slippers with cat heads on them, hobnail. A lot of colorful items here. A really nice porcelain tray. That looks nice. And a porcelain set with some pin holders, salt and pepper shaker. This looks like it's made of metal, some pheasants. And some doorknobs. I used to sell these like hotcakes. an interesting table some nice blue glass there's Allie looking around hmm. some interesting pottery some Fenton basket oh what's that looks like a Murano bird we've had some good Murano over the years more glass. Looks like it's got some uh, little gold flecks inside. Very sparkly. That's pretty cool. Reminds us of the Murano bird we sold. Looks like some Viking glass. Very colorful piece there. A uh, nice little compote. Very bright. It'll brighten up your room any day. Looks like a little fan vase. That's cool. Huh. Looks like Frosty the Snowman mug. Those remind me of like McDonald's cups. Reminds me of the Batman cups that were made by McDonald's many years ago when I was a kid. Some interesting glassware. Looks like a bear with a honey pot. Sleepy because he had too much honey. There's a little M&M, a cute M&M. Let's see what else we can find down this hallway. Looks like some fishing reels. Huh. Some old pool balls. Those could be collectible. This room has all kinds of glass. Skeleton keys. Should probably buy some of those, huh, Allie? <laughs> Holders. So. Wow, nice glass over here. Wow. $28 firm. That's not bad. Look at that little reindeer. This room has good prices. <laughs> nice Ellie Smith there. Big Ellie Smith piece. Where's the fairy lamp section? Hmm. Really? No, I, I'm just looking for it. 
I don't see many. We only saw one. Fire so lamps are extinct around here. Oh, look. Oh, sun heads. Interesting. I think those are basan heads, something like that. Nice pink lamp. Oh, this bell is very vibrant. The color, super nice there. Huh. Interesting. There's a wood eagle. Oh, this is fiberglass. Interesting. Gotta look out. If you see something really old with wood, keep an eye on that. See, now this says Fenton Cobalt Fairy Light. I don't see the base, though. There's three of these. Where's the base? Ooh, jadeite. Some jadeite cups. This room's kind of cool. I like it. I like this room. Look at this thing. It's a cat. It's a speckled glass cat. Hmm. There's a hen. A hen without a nest. I need more hens on a nest. A hen without a nest? Yeah, a hen without a nest. Maybe that's a new thing. Oh, look at all these Wade figurines. Ooh. What size? Cool. Those are the tea ones, right? Well, I don't know. What was I? I was super interested in something I saw. Oh, check this out, Allie. What do you think? Oh, there's a bunch of jewelry. I saw that. I like it. Costume jewelry. Hey, Allie, did you see this over here? Um, what? This blue. Well, interesting blue, huh? Oh, that one is beautiful. Under, it says matching candlestick holders, $28 firm. You get all that. All three of those. Oh. What is this? This reminds me of like Cambridge glass or something. She loves like that. Oh, that's cool. 35 Okay. We found some fishing memorabilia. It looks like this booth. It's good for fishing and hunting. Jitterbugs. Wow. A lot of lures here. Nothing in there. But they've got like duck calls and lures. And that's cool. A lot of vintage fishing lures. Not bad prices either. 12 bucks, 25 bucks. That's a big one. Creek chub. It's tough. It's tough to know a lot about so many different things. <laughs> but this guy has a lot of lures. That's really cool. If you're into hunting ducks, I guess this is a place that could help you out. Looks like even some traps. I don't like those. Trap your foot in those. Not good. Allie's hunting. She's looking around. Look at that Vaseline glass right in front of us. Only $65 and it could be yours. <laughs> You know, right now, so that's the bar it's a conch. It's a uh, ceramic conch. I know. I have to only buy things if I really want them. Like, really. If it's a good price. It's kind of like... You don't want to buy stocks that are too much money, you know? Ooh, yeah, they found a hat. What do you think? Yeah, looking good. You're like... You would fit in at the country line dancing festival. <laughs> That's always fun, country line dancing, huh? Yeah, we never went there. A lot of cool jewelry in here. Nice. More skeleton keys. I wonder how much those are.
wonder what the next hot collectible is going to be. Mm -hmm. I wonder what the next hot collectible is going to be. I think porcelain. I like porcelain. Ooh, well, he's opening it up. Ooh, look at that beautiful satin glass at the bottom there. The pink one, right? Mm-hmm. It's very beautiful. It looks mm -hmm. like the base, almost like the base of a fairy lamp. Uh, there was only the top. Excuse me. Yeah. Let's see, ghost, it goes fairy lamp, yeah, it is. Oh, geez, where's the top? This is the bottom. <sighs> Drive me nuts. <laughs> if I could only find the top. There is another one here. Oh, geez. See, there might have been an insert in there. I don't know how these fairy lamps get separated so much. Mm -hmm. One phantom. Jeez, how much is it? 28 bucks? This is 28 and this is 35. 28 for the bottom, but if the whole thing was there, it probably wouldn't be here anymore. Huh? It probably wouldn't be here anymore. More of those dolphins. See yeah. the dolphin fish? Those can be popular. Just telling you. Oh, nice gold work there. Maybe some Tiffin glass. Cool. Huh. Better keep looking, Allie. Yeah, sure. Oh, we run out of time. Took us like 45 minutes to get out here. A lot of books. Gosh, the way I spend my days looking around for treasure. Okay, that's interesting. So, soldering iron. That is an interesting wind-up toy. Wow, that's the craziest looking toy I've ever seen. I think um, things have improved a little bit. There's a Masonic gavel. Those are always cool. I did sell uh, a Masonic gavel for like 250 bucks one time, but it was made with limestone from King Solomon's quarry. So, that was a special one. A lot of interesting old things here. Super fun. Huh. Victorian watch fob. See, this is $145, but that's pretty cool with that mother of pearl and the lion. See, if it's 14 karat gold, we're good. <laughs> that's a gold filled watch there for 100 so interesting. See anything? How'd you get there, Allie? Guess what? Half of a fairy lamp. Sweet. How much is it? This is only four dollars and fifty cents. Sweet. Cool. Let's find the other part. See it anywhere? Teacups. This is some stuff we're buying today. We found a perfume bottle that's iridescent. This one has a little gold flex and it looks like Murano. And then this one also is marked Murano. That's how I knew the other one was Murano. I don't know where the markings at. Oh, I right like, there. Like Perfect Murano. Maybe. And we're also getting a little fairy lamp. Can I look at that for a second? Yeah, it's worth the rest of it. Oh, it's just one part. So we I got the top to a fairy lamp. Where is the rest of them? We're looking for the bottom part if anybody's <laughs> got it. I would it. love to. <laughs> All right, that's what we're buying today. Cool. Oh, it's a really cool antique store here. Wow. Some interesting pottery. What'd you find? Little grapes? Are those glass? Yeah. Very heavy. Hmm. Never seen that. Mm hmm. Super beautiful. A lot of vintage glasses here. That's nice. Nice little set. Juice glasses. So here's some Caruso cups. I like that tiger there. It's cool. Definitely some vintage items. 
nice cup there. Mid-century. A lot of mid-century here. Like that vase up there. What'd you say, Ali? Oh, the, the grapes? The no grapes. No, I said the furniture. I know. I was just showing off the grapes. Interesting pottery. That's beautiful. Well, I like that one. Hmm. Very fine marking. No markings? It reminds me kind of of Aris pressure, but I don't think it's Aris pressure. Interesting. This is beautiful. What a cool teapot. I wonder what that is. Mycin. I call this one Royal Mycin. Nice. What's the price on it? Oh, $350. Mm -hmm. There is more pieces on the other side. Oh, oh look at that teacup. That's so nice. Stairs here. Wow. I love nice big antique stores like this. Let's see what's up here. There's a saddle. This reminds me of like Danish style. Vintage luggage. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Seashells. Oh. Seashells down by the seashore. Hmm. Very interesting. Roseville. Like that RR Pico. Yeah. Robinson Rand's bottom, maybe? I don't know. There's Mamari back there. Mm -hmm. This place is loaded with stuff. Your dog. What do you see, Allie? Anything? I like this. Thing. Looks almost like it's a bronze. Yeah, it says bronze. Kind of like copper it. tone. Yeah. Interesting. Don't ask me why. I do like it. Ooh, I like this too. This is art. <laughs> <laughs> I like those light bulbs in there. Kind of gauge and out altitude gauge. Mm -hmm. Can make some iced tea. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting stuff. Look at this guy. Found him. <laughs> Ooh, a lot of Pyrex down there. Really? Yeah. Oh, that water one. Like little cups. We have that one too. Cool stuff though. It's a nice set of Haviland China, which is very cool. Oh, look at the 
said Kinger Crystal. I like this lamp too. Huge lamp. And this teacup is pretty much phenomenal. That gold on there is really nice. Looks like some mud men. Those are interesting. Some Amari China. Gotta always look close at the Asian style items. That lamp is cool too. Wonder who made that. Looks like nice porcelain. Hand blown Italian glass. It's always cool. Some nice blue glass. Some porcelain. There's some carnival glass. Like, looks like Majolica there. And then some Roseville down here. Which is 20% off. Can you see the gold here? Got Queen Louise of Prussia. And then, uh, yep, that's it's a bull market, huh? Hopefully another bull market coming up. Hope so. <laughs> I think we sold something very similar as an alabaster bull one time. Yeah. Except ours was bigger. Ooh. Hey, Allie, look at this. Wow. Wow. It's different. That is something. Huh. It's made of a hair. Those are kind of vintage. Is that made of hair? It says hair. Wait. Jeez. That's crazy. Very unique. Here's some dragon wire porcelain. That's super cool. I like that teacup too. It's almost like trench art. Some flow blue. All right, I better go check out and see if we're gonna get these fairy lamps. Definitely some cool items. This is the downstairs. Some nice custard glass. Probably glows in a black light. Looks like some Franciscan dishes. Some milk glass up there. Nice lamp. Some moon and star. Boxes over here. <laughs> yeah. Never know what's in them. Maybe a treasure. I like. I know it's not on YouTube, but it's but I like the sarcasm. What is that? It's like a little peacock. Oh. Thought that was some kind of voodoo doll. Oh, oh my goodness! Look at that. Yes, I think it is ham. The mud man. He's cute. Mm -hmm. Some marbles. Don't lose your marbles hunting for antiques. <laughs> Ooh, that's interesting. Very interesting lamps. Hmm. I have something. Very similar to this. Lace lady lamp. Look at how much. Mm. Is there a price on that pink one? Do you see this pink one? Oh, this one? It's 35. Okay. That ain't bad, but this yeah, is. But uh, see here? Yeah, it's applied. Yeah. I knew there was something wrong with 35 dollars on that. Oh, very good. What? Little thumbs, little beauty, <laughs> Jack and the Beans. Those things oh, are yeah. fun. People buy those nowadays. I've seen people sell them. 
Look at that Pyrex set. Mm -hmm. Crazy. Super beautiful. Lime green. Mm -hmm. This looks like Blanco. Definitely interesting. This is extra. What is it? Oh, is that that Italian? Ashtray, oh yeah, it says Batasi. Mm -hmm. Made in Italy. Oh, that's an interesting one. Beautiful. Do you know, did we have something like that in the store? Yeah, we did. How much did we get for that? An Italian pottery can be desirable. We'll say that. Look at the swing face. Hmm, got a cork in it. He has a swung base. Very interesting. Tim Cien says on the tag. Huh. Some more grapes. Very interesting. Oh yeah, that lamp. Yeah. How much is that? Different. Mm. Oh, it's got to be a tag on it somewhere. Yeah. Oh yeah. Take the glass off. Hmm. No price. Can't buy that. to buy it without a price tag but cool stuff i'm gonna do some research about this ashtray there's a lot of baseballs here that are signed louisville sluggers too are you ready to check out Bellevue? i think so i think i'm about ready some vintage stuff. It's a big wood player. I've definitely sold some of those. <laughs> 